Hi there, I'm Dr. Francesca Zampollo and in this video I want to talk about why we need more vegan chefs. Okay, first of all, let's look at the numbers a little bit. I'll put the, the link of these uh, articles in the description below. This is Forbes. The numbers of vegans in the United States jumped from 1% in 2014 to 6% three years later, while an estimated one in three Americans now identify as flexitarians, like I don't necessarily need meat, but we'll see, with potentially even more embracing a reducetarian lifestyle. There is a rise in vegan restaurants, which we are seeing all around. The website Happy Cow uh, lists over 25,000 vegetarian-friendly um, eateries in the United States, including 1,474 um, exclusively vegan restaurants, which is quite an interesting number and these are only those listed in the website uh, happy cow which might not be all of them and while california and new york are um, perhaps predictably leading the way by boasting 323 and 160 c vegan restaurants respectively vegan and vegetarian eateries have been popping up all over the country in recent years etc etc another article from forbes as well we'll put the link in the description below gives us uh, more more numbers which i think are interesting in continuing this 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 uh, understanding of how much veganism is growing sales of plant-based alternatives to animal-based food including meat uh, cheese milk and eggs grew of 17 percent of the past year while overall food sales rose only two percent the market of such foods totaled more than 3.7 billion dollars uh, and this is just the us so this is to show you that the market for vegans and vegetarians is growing. Uh, not only restaurants are, are growing, uh, so this means um, uh, food services and what, everything that is food service design, but also food products, and so food product design and design for food. This is a market that is growing. It is undeniable. The number of vegan and vegetarians are always more and more and I think they cannot be ignored. So already if you are a startup or if you have a food company this is something to uh, think about. But what I want to concentrate on this video is the lack of Michelin star experiences for vegans and vegetarians. So um, here is the Michelin guide uh, website. There are in total 8,245 restaurants listed that have made it to this guide. Um, we have to consider that I think they only cover 20 to 25 countries, so not the entire world. But generally, we could say that these are definitely most of the, or the majority of the very, very good restaurants on the planet. I know this could be argued, but, uh, for we can say that in this guide we are going to find excellent uh, food, excellent restaurants that serve excellent food. Now, um, there are different ways, categorizations of uh, the restaurants that end up in here. So there are three Michelin star restaurants, two Michelin star restaurants, one Michelin star restaurant. And then there are also restaurants that are assigned the Big Gourmand logo and the plate Michelin. So these are not good enough to have a star, but they're very good. And these are not good enough to be a big, good, big gourmand, but they're very good. You get the idea. So there are five types of restaurant, but only three have uh, three types, three categories are uh, with stars, which are the ones that we know um, better, best. So of 8,245 restaurants are those, are all of them. Uh, there are 1,000 with one star, one, 176 with two stars, and only six, 60 with three stars. Now, if we try and select restaurants only for their cuisine, and we select vegan and vegetarian, and I've already done this, there are only 33 restaurants in the Michelin Guide that are either vegan or vegetarian. There's also one that is Indian veg vegetarian, so I just added it here. So, out of 8,245 restaurants, only 33 
of the very good, amazing restaurants that have been selected for this guide are vegan or vegetarian. And 33 out of 8,245 is 0.4%. But it goes, we can go even further. If of these 33 restaurants, we only select those that have a Michelin star, we see that these are only three. These three are all vegetarian. None of them is vegan. And they all have only one star. So what does this mean and why did I want to make this video? It means that um, people who are interested in or want to pursue a vegan or vegetarian diet cannot have fun in amazing, awesome restaurants. People like me who sometimes like to go to this type of restaurants and if you can afford it sometimes, a couple of times in, in your life, are always left out with the, you know, with the side dishes or the one option, let alone tasting menus. Now, we, there are a few uh, restaurants, uh, Michelin star restaurants, that are also adding a vegan or vegetarian uh, tasting menus, and these are commendable, thank you very much. Um, but there are not enough restaurants dedicated to vegan and vegetarians that have excellent quality of food. Because if you are a vegan or vegetarian, it does not mean that you are not a foodie. You can be a foodie, you can be in love with food, you can think of food as a god, even if you are vegan or vegetarian, even if you choose to not eat animals. The point of this video is that vegans and vegetarians are a slice of the uh, eating population uh, that is growing, which means that the demand for vegan and vegetarian products and restaurants is growing. So I guess this is a call to all of you guys who are thinking of opening a new restaurant or cafe or whatever food food uh, service or any other food business, uh, any other startup, etc. to just, you know, consider uh, the growing population of vegan and vegetarians. I really would like to know what you think about this. I know that this theme of veganism and vegetarianism can raise uh, wonderful conversations and i would love to hear from you in the comments below what you think about this of course um i don't say this very often but if you also give a thumbs up to the video it helps my channel uh, growing and get visibility a little bit more and that would be highly appreciated so thank you for that um yeah but let me know what you what you think about this because i'm actually really interested in starting a conversation about this um and that's it. Um, as always, thank you for watching this video. Have a lovely day and happy food design.